First game of the day, you think? First I do game think it is. Let's make it eight games today. Eight games? Hell yeah, man. I'm feeling fresh. Let's do it. <laughs> Oops. We're ready. We're in the game. If you we're could. a bit late, but we're here. Hitting team fight. Has finished the blink dagger now, but he's finished the blink and also used up all six drum charges, which is surprising oh, to see. Yeah, wanting to see what's going on up here. No boundary runes yet, but Ice Ice is going to hit the hoof stomp. They follow it up with the ghost ship. They blow up TA instantly. Jab has been gone on here, but he gets the false promise off. Where's the heals? He needs to start throwing on himself. There's a lot of damage. He he's may stuck. still die. He's going for the TP out. If he gets some fountain regen, he may just survive here. Oh. He still dies in the fountain. There was enough damage. As the Weaver, very low, doesn't get the time lapse off. Four dead on clutch. TA. Casual blink melt strike. The oh. X boat, they want alacrity, it looks like. And they will oh my God. destroy him. The grave will come out. That'll delay his death unless he can TP back to Fountain, which he will. Oh, so no X. Himself alive. As Dazzle goes down instead with the grave on cooldown. Uh, Bed will catch out the Batrider. DJ getting the last hit with the Fade Bolt. And MP, his Metamorph has one off, but he's got a Sunder ready to go. He just needs a target for it. As Stuns comes out. No multicast, unfortunately. MP continues to be healed Sunder. back up. And there's the Sunder. That's going to force Weaver back into the Fountain. Unless Rubik, who was hunting for a kill there, had the gem. Any second now. GG in three, two, one. Oh! 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 I did it, man! <laughs> I've been trying this for like five days! <laughs> oh my god, finally I did it! Man, that was a stomp. Yeah, that was a stomp. That was but that's the Fnatic we know we expect it to show up. Right. That showed up on day one of playoffs, but not day two. Well, servers are stable. I think that's the one thing where everyone was concerned about. Yeah, so holy shit, we had zero pauses. Yeah. Zero pauses. Oh. Mid lane, KOXY setting up potentially. Echo? Blink Echo, have they got the damage for this one? Ice Ice Ice, he's being chained, so he's got a time walk. I think he's going to survive, and now he's Corona. got a Chronosphere. He goes for it, hits two. Oh no. They're all dead. I told you, at least he's a one dollar. And now Fissure stole oh, oh man, they found that. Once that earns on him with the cold snap, it's game over. And he had the high ground war, that's how they got the vision for it. So I'm getting better on my tips on the, in the restaurant. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> You've learned. Void gets gone on here. Can they blow him up before he time walks or Chrono? Nope. It doesn't look like it. And instead, it's Skylark going down as well uh, as Spartan, Spartan on the yeah. Lina. Dies to the urn damage. Jabs is low here, but there is a Chronos here. Catches out two. Nicely done to catch Nico, baby. Alacrity on the side, trying to do what he can here. DJ gets a Sunstrike out with a oh stolen my lasso. Aghanim Scepter lasso. Oh, boy. DJ just styling on fools. All right, GG. And in three, two, one. Damn it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> not quite not yet. yet. Not, it's not easy, man. Eva, it's not easy, easy, man. You can't you only got one shot. He boots a travel recipe wow, ogre <laughs> magi. That was a quick series, man. Oh, that was a quick oh series. Fnatic were back in the form that we expected them to be in the playoffs mm. and clutch gamers unfortunately have now been eliminated from contention I, for the summit. The next one is going to be King's Cup 2 Southeast Asia Grand Final to determine which team will be at the Summit 10. Welcome back to the final series of the King's Cup 2 yes. Southeast Asia. Uh, we're only in the draft. Did you take us in the draft? Yeah, that yeah. got done properly. Are you ready? I'm going to pop off a piece of my dick. She's learning. <laughs> He knows Roche is going on. Can he actually get in in time? He's just going to go charging in. He's not afraid of too much here. Maybe he should be, though. This Reaper can do a lot of damage to him if he's not careful. Back on the sidelines, they found a hero. It's Xi'an on the Mirana. The Centaur Stampede Hoofstomp comes too late as DJ goes for the solo Echo Slam play to kill him off. Raven very low. There's a Reaper coming in from MP. Raven, he could be in trouble here. There's the Reaper. Go, okay, oh, the gets the save from the disruption. He's still going to die here, but doesn't get the bonus respawn time, luckily. Items being dropped. Abed yeah. drops a point booster Yo. in front of Ohio. Styling on their You would only do that to friends. Ohio. Need to go on MP at some point. When are they going to tap out Cyclops? They're losing oh. oxygen. No, man. It's, it's the matter of time now. Stuck on the ground. Never get a chance to get up. Oh, and nice swing. curse. Yeah. Yeah, I'm tell you, there's a disruption save though, but while this is going on, Ohio initiates with a three-man hoof stomp. In comes Xi'an, he's got a BKB on the Mirana. He kills off the first hero, it's the Invoker, but he's in full retreat because the Broodmother is not a hero he can tango with. Brood just charges forward, forces some buybacks here. As MP's Reaper now on cooldown, there's going to be an Echo Slam just to help them retreat, it looks like. Nice Fissure as well, stops a potential hoof stomp, and Ohio, he's going to oh, die Raven again. Might die back. Oh, he can't afford to lose Raven here. He's going to get back to the high ground. Nice oh, tornado. The tornado. The cataclysm. cataclysm. Oh, it's beautiful. 
and it's GG Rampage. Rampage. I thought it was a Rampage for the Invoker, but no, the dirty, dirty Necrophos. He gets the Rampage. Oh my god. There was literally no solution all game at all. Ah, it's it's this all about a tactic. This is so tactic whole game. Bristle with Centaur and Mirana, that's that's not a that's not a draft. That's not a draft. No. I really think they just botched the lanes with that last pick. If they take this, then place an Obs, then Abed could be oh there we go. Oh no, it's a dire it's Obs. Warrior. DJ gets the X, they initiate on Ohio here. The Chaos Meteor gonna go rolling through as well. Plays pretty damn nicely, they kill off Ohio. That, that was such a good play, bit of play there. Abed's Chaos Meteor even just finding him towards the end of its roll. And they're buying time. Spectre's down bottom, just farming up Radiance. They've got a Reaper now. Is it going to be enough damage? He does get the kill on the Dragonite. Oh they're God, holding MP somehow. In. MP needs a way out oh. of this one. Oh, MP, you've My made God. a big mistake. Yeah. Your team, they were kind of holding without you. Shine just going to BKB and go for the racks. They initiate in on the Voker, who did not get off his BKB. Does have a buyback. He's going to instantly use this one. Spectre Haunt oh, looking to come chance. in. Spectre Haunt Whoa. still on cooldown. And AU is just winning this fight for his team on the Shaker. The Reaper comes out, gets the kill as Ohio is going to double kill. It's a crazy fight with the Wukong's command, and GG is finally called. Lotak adapt himself, pick them up from such a hard early game. I mean, hard first game of the series. Come back with a new setup lineup. And Fnatic, well, quite disappointing in the second game. The way that they pick the hero choice. Having a uh, Spectre that make the game even harder for them. MP. The yeah, I'm, I'm well, super hyped to see which team wants to throw away a perfectly good draft yeah. with their last yeah, pick. Yeah, I mean... Here we go. Small area. Oh, Ohio blinks out before Abbott actually hits him with a stun and hits the shackle on ice, 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 but the Rubik lift will find him elsewhere. They get baited by a PL illusion. The real PL completely jukes him, but to the north, it was a kill on Ohio. He's going to buy back to try and contest this. Knows that Roshan is at stake here. Should they lose this fight, they're going to go in the Necro next. The Yules is there. Xi'an doesn't have the LSA right away. Does still end up landing it. Abed comes in with a blink stun under the lean of the Echo Slime is there, but Abed BKB, so he absolutely whipped the Echo. Ice 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 still alive for now, but he's being chased down by the Wind Ranger. There's going to be another Death Pulse, and they lose Wind Ranger. It's a dieback fanatic. Oh, they're holding on and winning this fight. Ice 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 swags on everyone with no health whatsoever. This is where this Heart of Tarask kicks in. Making him such a strong hero in the front lines here. The Ghost Shroud keeping Dude, himself alive. The Static Shield is also way too scary to focus fire into. Yeah. Raven caught out by the Dragon Tail. He doesn't have a doppelganger. He's actually just dead. And that's a dieback. Potentially GG. Be. Yeah, that should be. Yeah. It. And they're going to call it. Game three goes Fnatic's way. It was a much closer one. and. Yeah. How bad went off on that DK? It's, it's kind of sad every time that we see it is such an even game and a very quiet passive early game just that just end with just one big team fight from a small mistake made by one team. It was just that one fight. Well, maybe not the last game, game four. Yeah. Potentially the last game. Potentially. Mm -hmm. DJ started to be ward. Now they know for sure that team of Fnatic is inside. MP being the frontliner once again. MP. 3k, 3.4k HP, making it so hard for Team Lothak to do anything. The reason that he has to be in front is because he wants to prevent the Blink Dagger from the Earth Taker. Now look at that Chrono and Fear Time Lapse out. That was a fail Chrono. Let's go in, everyone. Follow me. MP is in front. Rolling Boulder, Boulder Smash, oh and that's of course. Oh, God. Hang. Did not even have buyback. He does have Bloodstone, so it would have been a short respawn, but let's go for it more. It wouldn't have been instant. Uh, they all just gonna fall back. Uh, no, out. flying for the storm. Silence on him. No Black King bar for the storm as well. Dropping to only around 200 HP. Spirit oh, vessel. get drained. He actually oh, trying to save the ward, no. but both of them no. finally end up all died. Uh, die back, triple kill. Everyone just can buy back. Just buy it now. Well played uh, has been called uh, by Team Fnatic well themselves. Uh, coming out. <laughs> <laughs> Give not, him the well play. <laughs> and it's MP gone. They'll fight now they the lost end. all their core. But they still not enough to kill the Storm Spirit. Oh, yes. Now in stage Storm Spirit is actually the one who killing them by going in with a DJ call Ohio. And that is it. For nothing is your champion of King's Cup 2, Southeast Asia. They will be coming to Los Angeles. On my decree, of oh, course. Decree, I, yes. I have allowed it. I called a 3-1 at the beginning. They delivered.
Uh, most people likely thought that Fnatic would have been the winners once they realized that TNC were not participating in the playoffs any longer. It was not so simple, though. No, you know, it wasn't. They dropped down. They got 2 0 by Lotac into the lower bracket, and this series itself was very competitive. I'll say Necrophos has been designed very well by Ice Frog. Oh, Thank you, Ice hero. Frog. Yep. Perfect design, 10 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> um, loving it. Slash him yeah. up. <laughs> Please, 7.20, take this sword and stick it in Necrophos. Yeah. Um, he probably won't feel it. I'd like to thank you all for watching King's Cup 2 Southeast Asia. It's been a hell of a ride. If you enjoyed the show, please give a shout out to Beyond the Summit, Dakota Cox, BTS Gods, L Deep, everyone involved in the production. We appreciate your time, your effort, and all the subs. But I don't appreciate Cyclops, for he must die. It was an unfair execution. <laughs> but anyway. Thank you so much everyone for follow up in the uh, King's Cup Southeast Asia number two. Thank you for these people <laughs> to make it happen. Monster, Lord Mobile, and Sen Hunt Heiser. And guys, do not forget to follow our the Summit 10 that will happen in December. It's gonna be a great fun and more. Dot revenge. Thank you.